Hey everyone, Paul from OrthoEvalPal. What I want to do today is do a little demonstration on um, what an S1 nerve root compression looks like. So what I've done here is we started off with reflex testing to find that L4 looks pretty good. We've had some pain going down the leg and the hip, posterior thigh, all the way down to the calf and even down into the foot with some paresthesia. This is really gonna be a modified video just to show you what um, I'm utilizing to diagnose him with an S1. Now we're gonna go down to the Achilles. Left side, looks good. Right side, nothing. As far as sensation goes, he has good sensation everywhere except for the lateral foot, lateral heel down here. If we take a look at his strength, Lift the big toe up, hold there, hold this one up, hold tight, good. Hold the foot up, don't let me push it down, L4. Hold this one up, L4, great. Leg comes up here, L3, hold tight. Hold this one, hold tight, good. Hands on the uh, table and bring the legs up. So, yep, you're gonna go just like this, hold tight here, good. And lift up, hold tight here, good. All right, while I'm in this position, I like to clear the hip because he had some pain around the hip area. So I just kind of take him through a little bit of motion. And usually if people have hip arthritis or some sort of impingement, this is painful. Uh, he has pretty good motion right here and that's not a problem. Where we do see some trouble though, is if we have him keep his back straight and we try to straighten this leg out. Now this has been going on for a year and a half, and that's quite painful. Feel the pain going all the way down the leg. Now, we're not gonna push that too hard. We're gonna lift this leg to see if he has a Wells or cross straight leg raise. Does that cause any pain in the right leg? It does, okay. So we have to be concerned about a large herniated disc because if we do it on this side, it's gonna give him a little bit of pull and give him that pain, that familiar pain down this leg. So we're gonna have him go onto his back now. I'll get on this side so you can see better. Now I want you to notice the first thing is that he keeps this leg bent. He does not tolerate straightening, straightening that leg out. And in this whole evaluation that he's been here, he hasn't sat down once because he can't. Um, the only comfortable position he has is standing or lying down. And so we noticed this right away a while ago when he came in for the eval that this is the position he likes to have his leg in. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do a straight leg raise test with him. So we're gonna straighten that leg out. Tell me when it starts to hurt. Right there. It's starting right there. If I back him off a little bit and pull the foot back, a little braggarts test. Feel that also? Right. It's pretty bad. Okay, sorry. No, okay. And then we give him some relief by bending that knee. And then if we come up here, he does okay with this. And so I'm not so concerned about, you know, that. But definitely if we're at 30 to 35 degrees and we have a straight leg raise test, that's positive. He has a loss of Achilles reflex, that's S1. Some loss of sensation around the heel and lateral foot, S1. Oh, and I... Can't have him demonstrate this again, but he has weakness going up onto his tiptoes on this side, about half the strength that he has on his uh, left side. So obviously in a, in a lot of discomfort, he's had this for a year and a half, it's progressively getting worse, the paresthesia, the pain, the weakness. Um, and uh, so we've started him with some really light um, McKenzie extension exercises, which he's done well with so far. We also started with some nerve flossing exercises, which he tolerated well today in a very limited range, of course, and some transverse abdominus activation. So this is just to show you what an S1 nerve root compression looks like. We're going to start some rehab. We're going to get an MRI to confirm it. But this is a very common presentation. So I hope you liked today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks.